having breaking news at the moment. There's three private jets that were seized by Chinese firm is being released. Yes, they detained our presidential jet, three of them. So, Zongstan has now been made aware that an Airbus A330 currently detained in France as a result of a French court order obtained by Zongstan is needed for the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to travel to a scheduled meeting with President Macron of France early next week. Now, the Airbus A30 will be released for the President to use that to travel to France in meeting with President Macron next week. Uh, so sudden that uh, we are having this released. Uh, we don't know what happened, what transpired behind closed doors, but we just know that, thank God, this embarrassment did not linger for long. Our politicians have been forever bringing embarrassment to the country called Nigeria to the extent that we are used to getting embarrassed by our so-called politicians. But this is the twist. This is where it gets very, very interesting. According to Omoye Leshore, he says, there is something fishy, you heard me right, going on with the presidential debt seizure in France. It, it looks like this part, this current part, Airbus, uh, I think Airbus 330 was released, A330 was released. It seems that there is something fishy going on with this season of presidential jet. According to Omo Ile Shore, he says it looks like this part was arranged to launch the new presidential jet with sympathy. So suddenly, this Chinese company is picking and choosing which jet could pick the president up in Abuja to France on an apparent medical trip. Omoyele Shore is saying that this is clearly staged. That is the word he used, that this is clearly staged. I'm reporting what Omoyele Shore said. So we are going to ponder on that allegation. He's accusing the federal government of using the incident of a Chinese firm seizing a jet, using that to launch the new jet that Nigerians have criticized and gone against that new jet. They are using style to launch it with sympathy. Ogun State owes a Chinese firm. Chinese firm, since 2011, this has been in the court. All of a sudden, it secures a court order, and that court order gives them the right. Zongstan, that's the firm, gives them the right to seize three pres presidential jets, and I believe the A330 Airbus that the Chinese company is willing to release should be the new jet that I believe, not sure, the president wants to use to go to France. So when they seize a presidential jet, sympathy. Ah, our president don't have jet. We need a new jet. We are in trouble already. A company has seized because of Amosu and Binga and Daniel. Dak Babiodun is distancing himself. So past governments, which is not connected to this administration, have done something very bad, which is a normal thing for politicians to do bad things and go with it. And they have seized our jet. So which jet would our president be using? So please, it is even better that this Zongstan release this private jet, this new one, so that our president can use sympathy votes. He needs a jet. There's nothing really bad that he bought a new private jet in the tune of billions. So that is what Omo Yele Shore is saying emphatically, that it is clearly staged. Suddenly, the Chinese company is now picking which one and choosing which one could pick the president out of the three jets. The more you look, the less you see. This is Nigeria. This is not my words, but one thing I, I, I want to, I have come to understand in Nigeria is that, like I said, the more you look, the less you see. There are so many things that are underlying, there are so many things that are going on that are happening, that you cannot normally look at it. 
you need to deduce, you need to do your calculation and research very well before you can understand. Because when criminals are in power and they are doing all sorts of transactions, they will do it in secret so that you will not know about it. You will not get the full facts and figures. You can only investigate, you can only uh, speculate, you can only whatever. So the speculation here is that this may be clearly staged to just give credence, credibility to, to the new jet that the president bought. Well, whatever Shore is saying, that is his business. Nigerians, we know these leaders, we know who they are. They are the problem of the country. Until they leave there, Nigeria will not get better. Nigeria getting better would not be to their advantage. So they don't want to fix Nigeria as much as they can. They want to play with Nigeria so that they can get what they want to get. They know what to do to fix this country, but they will not do so. So I'm not surprised if an Omoyele Shore, whether he's right or, or, or wrong, this government is not accountable. Is no, there's no integrity. We cannot, there's no freedom of doing research. Everything is just done in one, you don't even understand the government. So that means, that is, if you don't understand somebody, you will believe anything that has been said. A government that is not transparent, that wants to be transparent on its own, when he wants to be, when they want to be transparent, that's when it will be transparent. When they want to be accountable, that's when they want to be accountable. Whatever the, what, even though let the Chinese firm return the three jets, it is already a national embarrassment. Even if they like, let them stage so that they can validate. What will Nigerians do at the end of the day? Nigerians will do nothing. Nigerians will do nothing. And these politicians, they know the lines they will cross. They know the things that they will do not to anger Nigerians, like the bill. The bill also, conspiracy theory. David Duden said it was a bill that was used to test the waters, the resolve of Nigerians. Trying to put a bill and Nigerians kick against it and you withdraw it. So you now gain confidence from Nigerians. Yeah, these people are listening. Their policies, when you put the policy, we go against this and we go against it and they listen. That is from David Hundeni. But what do I think? in all of this. I believe that the more you look, the less you see. I believe that the government has a lot it is hiding from its citizens. A Dangote mentioned Malta few hours after he made that revelation. Nobody has made that revelation before, but a Dangote, a key player in the oil, oil sector, who has been in the corridor of power for longer than you can imagine, made a revelation of a blending plant in Malta. The next few hours, they settled him. They went in and did meeting and they reconciled. Look at how you can match the two together. This is Nigeria for you. Where government, parastatals and agency will come and blatantly lie. Lie. Government officials will give false figure, give fake news to the people. Some of them are done intentionally. Government functionaries becoming by gods. No accessible, no, no responsibility. They just do things their own way. Somebody said, as reported by a religious leader, he bought his way to power. That is the statement. Somebody called voters fools, a governor. Somebody said that we'll be in a house eating chicken while you go out and protest. Somebody said, let the poor breathe in the same Nigeria. I, I asking us not to believe some of these things. It could be staged, yes. It could be staged. Because the government of the day is mysterious. Whatever, if they like, let them return or whatever they are trying to do. It is a national embarrassment. It's even good that they are returning it so that they will not go and Part another budget, use another billions of naira to settle themselves. Because at the end of the day, they are the ones that are going to loot the money, use to buy jets, inflate whatever they are inflating. Man, God will help. 
You see, people believe that there's nothing that will happen at the end of the day that they can go scot free. I'm also is there. You cannot, you cannot. The EFC and DSS they are not looking at inviting this man prosecuting. No, no successful prosecution. It's all just politics. Politics capturing the minds of people, threatening people, making people impoverished people. Oh God, God, what is happening to Nigeria? Well, if that's good news for you, they have released one of the presidential jets to Tunisia so guys to go to France. Then the other two, I don't know whether that is their problem. God help those that are in Nigeria.